lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan teori Burung kaya kan pakai dulu I like this, it's cute What, like what? Look at, look at how cute I look right now Your face or your body? Just everything about me <laughs> you, have to, have to, you have to question what is cute about you yeah. Aren't I like so cute? <laughs> what about you though? I don't know what to focus on <laughs> Okay, I'll, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, such an yeah. hard insult, but not. I'll tell it's you. It's not hard. I just want to know. Can I tell you what's it, cute about me? <laughs> I'll start. Do you want toe first or head first? I guess to start from the top down, bottom up, but start. top down. Bottom okay, what I find yeah. cute about myself right now is that my hair is um, kind of like disheveled and wet from the shower, but like I'm like, oh, I don't want to blow dry it, so I'm just gonna tuck it in this cute hoodie, this camo hoodie, mm. right? From this store, Fukushima store. And what mm -hmm. I find cute about my face right now mm -hmm. um, are my lips are kind of juicy. And what I find cute about my lower half are these pants from All Saints. Who's are those? Ours. Mine. Ours. You guys have clothes that you consider ours? Ours, yeah. This is the ours pile. <laughs> Tell me about the cute part, though. And then... <laughs> Let's go, to, go straight to the cute and then like... Okay, but most are you saying from top? Are you saying from top to bottom you're cute all around, or are there place? Are there spots in your body that's not as cute as others? But generally, or is just stuff, I, some stuff that's straight up ugly. I think my <laughs> I want to know. My aura is really cute right now. Okay. Oh, spiritual. Cute. Okay, okay, okay. Spiritual cuteness. Well, now, okay. Well, now we're doing like fourth dimensional stuff and auras and spirits and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So your spirit's cute. Thank you. What do you find? The, the physical shell is, you know what I mean. It's damaged, but okay. <laughs> but the inside. Yeah. But the you know inside. I mean? Yeah, the, the, the aura, I can't see that Wait, right now. On. Not just the physical shell, the insides are pretty damaged. It's pretty damaged too, too so. Okay, they're melting. <laughs> but in terms of spiritually and aura-wise, pretty damn good, man. So cute. But that's what I wasn't looking at, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but um, you seem post-apocalyptic, clothing-wise. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're smuggling stuff. You know what I mean? Back into the camp. But how cute is this contrast of this orange necklace with this camp? I didn't see it. But now do I look cute or not? I pull this out? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it got worse for some weird reason. It kind of got worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, okay. Um, you, I mean... Do you, do you feel cute? No. I feel um, like a smurf. Can That's cute. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, but yeah, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. Bobby went on a date with um with a girl and he was like, What should I wear? And um I kind of he was like, Should I wear this? Should I wear that? And then I was like, Yeah, I think those two things look good together. And I swear to you guys, he walked out of the door looking like a full blown strawberry. The classic I love that look. And I don't know if that was internal sabotage on my part, but it was so funny because he ran into Sosi at the pharmacy and she sent me a picture and she she was like, did you dress? What does he look like? A strawberry? Was there sabotage involved? Back to the strawberry? What? You look like a cute strawberry. So what you're telling me is Sosi Bacon. Yeah. She took a picture I, I, of you. I, no, let me get let me get this straight. Lay yeah. it out. May yeah. I get this straight? Mm -hmm. I run into Sosi Bacon and her boyfriend mm -hmm. at a pharmacy. She taped me talking to her boyfriend, mm -hmm. and then she slams the way I looked. And the only reason I'm looking like that is because I got the okay from you to look like that. Kalila. And then you guys are now shaming me behind my back. <laughs> if I'm if I'm dressed like a fruit, tell me I'm dressed like a fruit, and I'll change. It, she actually didn't say. Well, if I went out like this, would you say, "Oh, he's dressed like a blueberry"? Uh, <laughs> you are dressed like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even wait, wait, wait. realize you're wearing all blue. <laughs> That's why I said Smurf. You didn't get that joke earlier, fuck. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're saying that I look like a blueberry now? You look honestly. You're a little blue right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, but I'm gonna say this. I'm into what is this mono? Chromatic. Yeah, 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 monochromatic. I like being monochromatic. I like yeah. the same color, but different shades of that one color mm -hmm. as a clothing thing. I think so, too. You know, I see um, European male models do that. Like, black dudes, they'll wear, like, peach from the top bottom. And I go, I want to look like that. But when I look like it, I look like a fruit. That's what you're saying? No, I think everyone knows you are the style icon in among well, the, male comedians. But was I, now, when I went to the fucking out, was I a style icon that day as a strawberry? You looked, you looked, um, how do I say? Like you were, you were pushing the, 
the boundary the of envelope. fashion. Yeah, you were really pushed. I, and I really respected it. Also, the fact that you wore these really cute pink socks under your slides. Oh my God. I was a fool that day, huh? <laughs> you know, there's a there's a nice way of doing this. And I don't know if this is was the it, Wait, way. were you wearing that shirt? Because that's strawberry. I don't think you were doing that on the date. It was like that, but different, like, with longer sleeve paraphernalia. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there's a nicer way to do it. Okay. And I think the next time, if I'm full-blown doing the fruit thing, right, you should just tell me, you look like a cantaloupe or whatever, <laughs> and then I'll go, oh, I should take all this, you know what I mean, orange stuff off, mm-hmm. right? Instead of, like, letting me go out in the world like that, having people shame me, and then you guys laughing behind my back. I think that's the wrong Actually, I should. Sosie didn't say you look like a strawberry. She said you just smelled like vapes. Hmm. <laughs> I can't tell. So what we went through all that. It's better. We know. went through all that just to get to there. Yeah. The truth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's. I think I know. I understand what's going on now. Okay. In the beginning of the podcast, right? I didn't say that you looked beautiful, mm-hmm. right? And then you had a defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. So you had to shame, you know what I mean, my clothing style. And then um, now you're trying to do this whole vape thing. I don't know what that's all about, that angle. But I want to, let's go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. I apologize for that. Can we just move on from there then? Yeah. And the reason why, but the vape thing doesn't bother me because, I'll show you what it is. It's not in my pocket, it's upstairs. Her boyfriend smokes the same exact vape flavor and stuff. And brand that I smoke. And so when she smelled me, she goes, oh, my God, I know that smell so well. And then we that's how we talked. Ah. That's how we grouped together. I would have never talked. I had never met him before. Right. I've never met uh, Sosie's boyfriend. But that was the connection there. So anyway. Okay. Anyway, let's start. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of... I'm sorry, I'm dressed like a blueberry. Oh, you said that's so cute. You said I'm Zoe. Oh, oh I'm Zoe. Oh. oh, that's a cool name, Zoe. Zoe is a name. No, Zoe. Oh, oh so- with an S. Yes. That is so cute. I'm Zoe. <laughs> I'm Zoe Susu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, welcome to another episode. I don't like that sweatshirt. What? I I love it. I know she does, and you she complimented earlier, but mm-hmm. you know, I just don't. W- w- the Bears is a football team. Yeah. Would the refrigerator play for them? Yes, yes. We talked about that already. Mm. Maybe not. I yeah, love I your random so. football knowledge. You, Tell me more. <laughs> You've got a lot of sport, Tell random sports knowledge. Refer, refer, refrigerator Perry. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was a linebacker or defensive linebacker? Yep, defensive linebacker, man. Do you know the, what the position's called? Uh, was he, defen- he wasn't defensive end. Yeah, he was defensive line. Defensive tackle, yeah. He is the wall. Yep. Defensively. And he was good at sacking. That's all I know. Okay. Okay. Um, he doesn't do the pass interference, all that kind of stuff. But my point is, is that so refrigerator Perry. That's all the only one. Uh, Luke Dukas. What's what, what was it? I don't know who that is. Uh, Dick Butkus. Like, huh? Dick Butkus. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Dukas. <laughs> I'm gonna look up Luke Dukas. <laughs> Wait, what was his name? Uh, Dick Butkus. Dick Butkus. Dick, 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 was I close? Luke yeah, close enough for me to get yeah, it. Luke Dukas. Close as you need to be. <laughs> look, can, we look at, can we see if there's anyone named Luke Dukas? Oh my God, there's a football <laughs> There is a, a, fo- of- a football player named Luke Dukas. That's, that's, <laughs> that's who I was thinking there about. There you go, baby. Oh. That's how I was thinking about. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Luke Dukas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my man. Yeah, yeah. There's a Luke Dukas. <laughs> there's a guy named Luke Dukas. It's football photos. <laughs> and football photos. So how did I know that? Ah. <sighs> uh, how do I know Luke Dukas? I have no, I, idea. I don't I have no idea, but good job. Thank you. Uh, so very hard to shame me, isn't, isn't it? It's Kinda so is. hard. So difficult because, you know, my trickery goes beyond your comprehension. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I love football, but um, I don't know. The Bears, they're pretty good. Well, they, they were good at one point, right? Are they good now? Uh, no, they stink now. It's a rebuilding year. They were good in '85, mm. and every year that they uh, they play badly, I think I should just I should just rewatch the whole '85 season so I can be happy every Sunday. You know how I know? I, did I already explain to you why I know Refrigerator Perry? Were you in a commercial commercial with him? No. Dang it! Can I? Can I? Can mm-hmm. I? Please do. Okay, so I um, have you ever heard of Tecmo Bowl? Oh yeah. yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. I do know this story. 
You do know what's the story? No, but then you you didn't say it on the podcast. You just told it to me, so repeat it. I know you've played that game, but that's all. So I I didn't know anything about football, and I played Tech Mobile, and I, I know I know how the how games played. You know, you know, kind of. Well, ask me questions. Uh, what's a down? It's after the first scrimmage of play, and then you no, know, you go forward, and it depends how many yards is the down, cool. right? How yeah. many? And then how many downs do you get? Before the other team gets the ball and it's a turnover, how many four, chances? Four. Yeah. How but many? They points? usually don't do the fourth. They use the, after the third down. They usually do the kick thing. Okay, this guy knows. How yeah. To play. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. you. Try to trick me, huh? How many points is a touchdown? Seven, six, mm-hmm. and six. Yeah, good. You six, got and you. then the field goal is seven or whatever. Yeah, I can't get you. Yeah, you fucking idiots, I man. I can't get you. I'm a mind boggler, dude. Who's the quarterback for the San Jose Sharks? That's his hockey team. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fuck this fuck guy's it. good, dude. Oh, ask me more sportsies. Can man. someone else help me? I can't. Yeah, yeah, help yeah. You, yeah. Ask me another sporty, dude. I uh, challenge you. Uh, two, this is a tricky. This is a tricky. Two, this is a tricky one. Yeah. Two point conversion. How many points do you actually get? And a two point conversion. Two point. Two points. Okay, okay I try to trick you. Up. That's not good. <laughs> That's so dumb. That's a you, good one. You almost fell for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo. So Tecmo Bowl. So I, I didn't know I didn't know anything about football, and but I, for some reason I play would play with the Chicago Bull the Bears, and um, there would be um, there's like one and it's I, 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 tell me what the what the characters look like on it, mm-hmm. just what generally so so generally that's what it looked like, right? Old mm-hmm. school, yeah. Old school like that, right? And then but one of the characters when you played the Bears was gigantic. Oh, and he was a he was a little faster than everyone, so I had to go. I had to ask around, like, who's that big black gigantic character? You know I mean, that's the defensive. And then, like, you know, my fr- friends would be, "That's fucking Refrigerator Perry," and that's how I know the name. That's all. I, I went through all that just to do that. But Tech Bobo, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's why. Um, I re- you know, I, I wish football was that they just kept playing. If they kept playing, I would be a huge fan of it. Mm. You know what I mean? What do you mean by keep playing? He doesn't like the stopping. I don't like the stopping. Oh, okay. And then people discussing things on the side. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? I don't like it. You know what I mean? I don't like cheering. I don't like, um, why is there a halftime thing? You like the pace of soccer where it's continuous. I like any sport that's continuous. You know what I mean? It's just Maybe it's because of my ADD or whatever, but it's like, you know. Do you think basketball is continuous? Yes. Okay. If there was a Korean football player, would you be more interested? No. Damn it. Like, what would he play though? He's actually one of the best in the league. He plays for Atlanta Falcons. That's why I Wait, know. Wait, there is one? Yeah, Young Ho Who. He's a kicker. Young Ho Who? Young Ho Who. Uh, 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 oh, young, young Ho Who. He's a handsome guy, too. He's a handsome guy. Wait, does his. Uh, I would love to have his jersey. Yeah, let's get his jersey. Yeah, we'll have it. Yeah, but is he good? He's good. He actually. Is what a, a handsome guy. He's a really good kicker, too. Oh, he, oh that's all he does is kick? It's an important part of the game. But that's what he a touchdown is six points. But is that the guy? Is that the guy that was like he got founded from TikTok or whatever? Uh, no. It was a guy that was like they saw found him on the internet. Like he's good at kicking on the internet, and then they put him on the NFL. Oh shoot! I don't know. That's what I heard. Maybe it's my dream. I feel you know what that it (laughs) sounds. Maybe I dreamed it. You get seen on TikTok. No, but (laughs) I imagine that's how all of like the singing, all the talent show, or like they're recruiting everyone from TikTok. Yeah, for everything. So that actually makes sense. I mean, the guy from Journey. Mm. You know, it's from YouTube. Yeah, that's that's a band, right? Journey. Journey, the band, um, recruited the lead singer of a Filipino band called The Zoo or something like that. And his name is Arnel Pineda. Yeah, Arnel Pineda. When I was in Hawaii last, yeah. they, Journey played there and they sold out every show. I mean, it was like people were like, it was almost as if like it was the Beatles. I mean, they, I think Arne Pineda really reinvented that band. I think Congratulations, guy. Um, but, you know, football's a pretty good. Uh, Arsenal is really just, I don't know. Are you so proud? We won again today. Yeah, they're incredible right now. What's this, what are we doing? They're at the top of the of of the table. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what do you mean for sure? Why are you looking? He at wants me you. Like he that? wants you to keep saying it because no, I no, I, no, because I want to just tell you how proud I am of my football club and how Arteta's reinvented the fucking thing. And you know, we went away f- to Chelsea today and won. We beat Liverpool last week. We beat Tottenham two weeks, three weeks before that. I mean, we're killing it. 11 wins, one draw, one loss. 
and we're at the top of the league. That's all. I, I want to be proud of my team. You know, if um if a team usually starts this strong, is it that like do they usually maintain all the way to the end of the season, or has a team started this strong and then fallen off like strangely, like midway through the season? Arsenal's done that. Arsenal's like started, but not as strong as now. Yeah. But we've start, we've had like two or three game streak, and we're like, oh my god, and then we'll lose the next five. Yeah, but we're on like we're eleven now. We've never been here. I mean, the, the closest that we were is the year that we were the Invincibles. Who's who's mm. next? Um, who's second right now? And how? Man many? City. Man City by two points. Oh. And they have a you know you know you know what they have on the, they have probably one of the greatest soccer players to ever live right now on their team. They have a fucking Viking. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. A straight up fucking white knight. I'll suck it. You will? Fucking, what? You would I'm like, this guy is, bro, bro, I, I, what, is he from Norway or Denmark? One of those two. Wait, who are we talking about? Um, uh, all Erling? I know is they're not Arling. going to the world. His, his country is not going to the World Cup, so we're not going to get to see him in the World Cup. Wow. But when, in, a, in a World Cup game, in a, in a qualifying game, when he played for, what country is it? Denmark or Nor uh, Norway. 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 Yeah. When he was playing for Norway, he one time scored that guy. That's he one time scored Jesus. nine goals in a World Cup game. That's insane. In one game. This dude got like three hat tricks, three games in a row for Man City this year. That's incredible. This guy's incredible, dude. This guy is incredible. So I can't decide about his face, though. What I know, right? It's got, it's like, it's, I'm intrigued by it, but I don't know if that's considered handsome or just... No, it's, it's you know the guy that was in the Northman? Uh, yeah, no. Alexander Skarsgård. It's like a combination between Alexander Skarsgård and Not Judy Dench. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> you know, I you, see the Judy yeah, Dench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the Judy Dench. If you Dench. put them together, there he, is. she, he is. <laughs> she, he, yeah, they, right there. They is. But this dude right here is—he's also tall and big. Yeah, he's incredible. Anyway, Specific. people don't like to listen to um, soccer when I, you know, but you know, it is a, a, a part of one of my passions. You should go. Are you going to go to the game? Wait, I, we wanted to maybe try going to an LAFC game because Gareth Bale plays. Yeah. I should pick a team, Galaxy or fucking. Go LAFC. Why? Dude, those games are like crazy. Yeah. A lot of your fans so there fun. too. Well, I, I think the reason why I would do is because Vela still plays for them and he used to play for Arsenal when he was a kid. And I like Gareth Bale. And I also, you know, Will Ferrell, I think, is an investor. And Timberlake. And Timberlake, yeah. So maybe. Damn, you should have been an investor for that team. That would have been crazy. Oh, here's ten dollars. What the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. What do I get for ten dollars? I don't know. You know if shoelaces. You, if you, you got <laughs> you want you got one soccer player shoelaces. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn Inn for your house and everyday life. Yeah. When it comes to upgrading your space, Brooklyn has you covered, guys, and accessorized and super cozy. And you're in luck because all of their home essentials will be on sale for Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. We use Brooklyn and sheets and comforters at our home and all their other stuff, man. Towels, robes, um, loungewear. They have all of it. Super soft. Even though comfort is a reward in itself, the Brooklyn and Rewards Program means you actually get points off your purchases, too. Mm. Along with free shipping and exclusive deals. Just sign up and let the points roll in. So really do this Brooklyn's reward program, guys. The holidays can be hectic, so why not embrace the ease wherever you can find it? Brooklyn has bundles for bed and bath that put all the essentials in one place and save you money. Make your holidays even happier with the help from the Internet's favorite Brooklyn. Inn. Visit brooklyn.com and get $20 off plus free shipping on orders of $100 and more. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot -E com. Save any time at Brooklyn with the code TIGER20. Brooklyn's Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale will only happen for a limited time, and the deals don't get better. If you happen to miss out, use promo code TIGER20. Helix Sleep! You know, we, I have a bunch of mattresses in my house. I have a couple of rooms. Mm -hmm. um, I'm upper middle class. And, so, <laughs> um, and for upper middle class people, what we use is um, Helix. Helix um, is the best mattress you can ever get. Um, the Helix lineup includes 14 unique mattresses, including a collection of luxury models, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, even a mattress made just for kids. So how will you know which Helix mattress works best for you and your body? Easy. 
Take the Helix sleep quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. Like for example, me, I kind of run a little bit hot and I'm a side sleeper. So I got matched with a midnight mattress, but then I had the option to go Lux. So it's a little bit thicker of a mattress, and it is such a dream. Well, you know, but, you know, because of that, everyone is unique. You know that, right, babe? Mm-hmm. And everyone sleeps differently. You sleep differently than I do. Some people sleep hot. Some people sleep cold. And that's why Helix has several different mattresses models to choose from, like you just said. Take the Helix sleep quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes, and your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night risk-free wow. trial, you guys. Also, Helix mattresses are American-made and come with a 10- or 15-year warranty. And remember, you get to try it out for a 100 nights risk is free. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by GQ and Wired Magazine. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash belly. With Helix, better sleep starts now. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. If you had, um, if tomorrow you had fuck you money, what would be your first big obnoxious purchase? Football team. No, I'd buy land. Oh. That's not an obnoxious purchase. That's like oh, you don't even know what I'm gonna that's do. That's responsible. You that's... don't even know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Or you're gonna do Fallout on it, right? What do you mean Fallout? Like you know the things you build on on there, like all like like crazy no, structures. He's doing, he's doing no, Star Dude. You don't even know. Farm. No, no, not not even that, dude. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dig a mile underneath, not a mile, maybe half a mile underneath the ground. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have 15 floors. Going down. Sounds like Fallout. Sounds like Fallout. I the, knew the, it. The iPad, whoa, whoa, whoa. It sounds like the iPad Fallout. Yeah, I play that game. The no, one, the iPad build version. Floors? You're not. Fin- I'm not done, Chachi. He's gonna switch it. It goes up. No, it, it doesn't go up. <laughs> okay. Right. What it does is this, and what I'll do for windows and stuff is I'll have like, because I've been on like um, sets and stuff before. I will. I'll have real windows, and I, yeah, at Magnum PI when I do Magnum PI, you know, in that bar scene, it looks like there's an ocean and boats mm-hmm. and stuff. But I'm gonna have all that put. I'm gonna put in breezes. What is yeah. your beef with actual windows, though? You have, I didn't know you had beef. With I, oh, I, uh, yeah, I have beef windows with and doors. Windows. I have beef with windows and he doors. He has big Any beef openings. with with windows. No, I hate windows. For what reason? I don't like light. He has beef oh. with the sun. So yeah, that's it. That's not the windows' fault. That's the core. This is sun. That's not the windows' fault. It's the sun's fault. That's it's too not- shiny. You know what I mean? Chill out, dude. It, yes, chill, chill out, out chill out, sun. Right. So you're like anti-ventilation in general. I like air. I don't think you do. <laughs> you're building down into yeah, the ground. Yeah, you're building a bunker, bro. <laughs> yeah, but why would I build the windows downstairs and have, you know what I mean, you're, a thing? It, but they're not real windows. If you doesn't matter. I'm, it's going to look real. I'm going to have real yeah. a machine that puts in real breezes, right? <laughs> and I'm going to have a real, like, you know what I mean, UV sun thing going on. So it's going to it's gonna look exactly like you would if you were, like, outside, like, in a you know, normal house. So you would basically just be making like a massive bunker. But ask yourself why. Why? Why? Thank you. That's all I want you to do is ask. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. But How do you get what, your vitamin D? Can I pump that through the window? Or can you take vitamins? Ooh. Better. Yeah. yeah there's, <laughs> what? I can have one of those little dispensers. Vitam- yeah, vitamin D tablets. Yeah, tablets. Thank you. Can I pump but, it through but, the window? But... But check it out, all right? When you go to the house, it's going to be a little hill. You're not going to even know. Like an ant hill? No, there, you're not even going to know there's gonna, there is a house there, right? Yeah. And on the side of this like little tiny hill that I make, right, is a little like wood, like a, a rock area with like protruding out. And then when you, when you lift over one of the rock things, there's a little door handle and you open it and then there's an elevator. I want to ask what your what your fascination is with being like alone That's it. deep underground. Like why do you love the idea of being so like isolated and away from everything? Like you always talk about this and I wonder where it comes from. Well, I feel like um I think I'm just a loner. I don't know. I I I know I I don't know. Maybe I'm just like half, you know what I mean? Mole. I don't know. Are I we invited like, to this place? No. No, you have to find it. You're never going to find it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, There's no address. <laughs> you know? Only I, I know how to get there. Hey, DoorDash, bro. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't think of that. Hey, why is that DoorDash guy walking to the middle of a field? 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait, maybe, maybe there's a you can build something where. Yeah, question can, me. Yeah, okay. I like this. We gotta okay, count, so we gotta how count. does yeah, there has me. to be a way where he can lift something to deposit the food and you can bring it down? Oh, I know. Mailbox. Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Just a random looking mailbox above ground? O- open field, one mailbox. Yeah, there's a, just a blue old school mailbox there, right? And you just stick the food in there. And there's like a little, you know what I mean, mechanism that it brings, goes it down. Down, brings it down. Yeah. Or it could be one of those like old school laundry chutes. Mm-hmm. I like that. Right? But oh, you, but, I know, I know, I know. But your food's going to get beat up. I, I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that. And I have a solution, Let's right? Let's go. It, right. So next to this bloop, right, is a, a box with padding in it. <laughs> right? Okay. Stick it in the box, close it. And then drop it. Send it down. Smooth. Well, uh, that still doesn't guarantee a smooth delivery. I'm sorry. You're going to get some shit smashed up. I'll get stuff unbreakable. And I've seen you. I'll like, get food that's unbreakable. I've seen you throw like rage fits when your food gets like smashed up. Oh, my God. Right? What was the last uh, food situation rage? Oh, my God. Last week. Remember the pizza? <laughs> Wait, I don't think we know that story. I order a pizza from okay. a pizza place. They brought me everything I ordered except the pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that? I remember that. Day now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, hey, we can't pot. Uh, could we delay the podcast? I got everything except the pizza. Yeah, yeah. How do you order a fucking pizza from a pizza place <laughs> and they they get the Diet Coke? I get, yeah, they got chips. The Parmesan packet. The par- yeah, the Parmesan <laughs> packets. And it's out there and there's no fucking pizza. And then I asked her, How do, should I do a refund? Yeah, did you call the guy? No, he he left his several, several messages. messages. Yo, um, where the fuck's my pizza? Where the fuck's my pizza, man? I tipped you thirty dollars, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit, dude. Yeah, so it happened. That stuff happens all the time. <sighs> That's why you have to know what to order. Like, I think Uncle Vinny's, they never forget shit. But it's not necessarily the place. Sometimes it is the courier. It's the cur. Is that how you say it? Courier. Cur- courier. Yeah. Courier. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that sometimes they um bring you they forget stuff in their car or they like mix up the orders with somebody else well that's why i do the priority thing now the priority still doesn't guarantee it i know i know or what sometimes because our our address is a little weird they'll drop it off in another house i hate when that happens too yeah that happened to me yesterday yeah i hate it but yeah um forget my can you can I just erase all that stuff I'm going to do with all that money to do the underground thing? Yeah, what's okay. another thing you want to spend yeah, on? Yeah, that's a lot. Of that, work. That, that's a, that's a lot of work. It doesn't make any sense and thank you for questioning it. All right, that's ridiculous. Okay. I what I would do is with the money is um You're not a yacht guy? What's a yacht? A, a yacht? Yeah, like you wouldn't be like a, a carbon fiber It's, it's yacht. like basically what's the first thing you buy that you do a selfie with and you post in your IG stories to show people like Oh, can you make a? I, I'm, I've asked myself this question late at night. Can you make a man-made island? Oh yeah, yeah in yeah, the yeah. Middle East, in in um Dubai. in Dubai. They do it all the time, but but not near any continent. Like in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Okay. Where? Where? where what ocean? Indian, Pacific, Atlantic. Do you have ideas? Is the Bay of Pigs something? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah, Atlantic. Cuban Ocean. What? Cuban Ocean. Yeah, right. yeah. The Bay of Pigs. I just like the w- w- that. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I've just heard it before. There was a war or something that happened back in the 60s. <laughs> but I want to build it in the Bay of Pigs. And how would you build this? Or under the bridge of the um, River Kwai. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you is there can... a River Kwai? I need to go to the River Kwai and build something. But my point is... <sighs> Wait, you can just purchase like... Um... Guantanamo Bay. Is there an ba- actual bay in Guantanamo? Maybe there. You know what I mean? Anyway, go ahead. No, nothing. Because sometimes, like, you. Very good question, though. Where? Uh, so, you want a man made island. You don't want to have, like, maybe an atoll that is forming and it will be an island someday in a couple of years. Maybe you can purchase that instead. Well, I, I would do um, ocean surveys to see where um, that's happening. Can you do that or no? Yeah, I think mm-hmm. you can. Where the ocean level is not as high. But, it, but, well, let me ask you something. I don't know much about islands, but I, I assume islands are volcanic. You know what I mean? I mean, unless it's Dubai, you can just make whatever shape yeah, you want. Yeah, look at that. Like, that's Dubai. That's all. Famous. Yeah, but it's near, attached to a fucking... Um, by a road. It's, yeah, it's by another... It's not as... Sh- it, the water's shallower there, right? 
Yeah. Like, I want to build a fucking island in the middle of the ocean. Is that possible? So super freaking deep. It would have to be like a floating island yeah. because it would be hard to anchor something into Mariana's Trench, Bobby. Yep. That's what I'm saying. So can you float an island? You could float away back over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just buy a boat? That's a floating island. No, I want a fucking island with beaches. C- buy a cruise ship. No, I want something just to float. No, let me ask you. If you have a that's a, you have, if you have an island that's not anchored to anything, right? Would it float? Maybe that's cool. It's like you go to sleep, and you wake up, and you're like, oh, we're near Hawaii. Yeah. Open your eyes again. Oh, I'm in oh, Singapore. I'm in Singapore, Singapore right? Yeah. It could just go wherever you want it to go. How do you park your island? You're gonna cause like, you know, <laughs> natural. All right, right. Shifts. But it's gonna be like a five mile island all the way around. It's huge. Who's gonna captain this island? Captain, I'm the mayor. No. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, who's going to no steer this island? There's no where steering mechanism. It's a fucking island. It just floats where it wants to float. It collides where it wants to collide. Yeah, exactly. I don't like it at all. Uh, what else are you going right, to buy? Forget that then. That'd be crazy. How much money it do I have? It floats to Russia. You have, um, let's say you have 80 billion. No, the Powerball. Let's make it realistic. The Powerball right now is at 1.9 billion. 1.9 billion? Billion. That's a Powerball right now? I bought tickets last night. <laughs> I gotta buy tickets. I, where, where, how do you do it? You just go to a gas station, pay cash. I bought fifty dollars worth. Okay, I might do this. <laughs> we should all do it. After this, let's go get a power yeah. ball. Is it a ball? It's a, no. Yeah, you that's why you win, Bobby. A power <laughs> ball. No, but how do you buy? Is it a ball? You and buy you it. Open it. And there's lottery t- ticket number. Lottery tickets, and they draw balls with numbers on it. Are they blue? They're come what? on. They're white. Why does, uh, all right, let, I want to know. You look like a power <laughs> ball. <laughs> No, those are mine. That's uh, <laughs> All right, let's get back on track. All right. Oh, my 9- God. Is that what you are right now? Blue balls? <laughs> oh, Halloween, man. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> God, man. What's better, blue balls or blueberry? Blue balls are a myth. They're a myth. Oh. Have is you it? ever? Oh, oh, is no, it a no, myth? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, your horniness pains you. Boo hoo. No, no, it re- no, it's real. <laughs> when I was younger, it, I, I couldn't walk. PMS is a myth. Let's go with Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think blue it, balls. It's not. You don't know the kind of pain. It's what probably, kind? Where does that tell me where it wor- hurts? It's probably worse than your period cramps. <laughs> yeah, I would no. agree. I would, I would agree, agree too. Thank I'll, you. I'll vote with that as well. Like, what's that? Three to one right now? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Think, it's very understand. painful. It feels like your skin, especially if you have a bone or nothing comes, it feels like your skin's about to rip. Really? It's like giving, it's probably the same as childbirth, honestly. Um, For how much was it? A billion dollars, said? A 1.9 1. 1. billion. 1. 9 billion. Okay. So taxes, you'd probably get. Well, what I would try to do is probably do something good for the world and um, probably clone and try to revive um, species of animals that are extinct. So Bobby, a year ago, um, bought this um, foot massager, and it's a really, really fancy one. And um, a year ago, he bought it, but it only arrived like two weeks ago yeah well i kept calling they're like well there's a backlog and we haven't you know what i mean and it's like and and i had my um assistant do it and you know it took eight months or seven months my gosh to get it here and then you but it's great when you do that because it's like you forget about it and then when it was when it actually got into town in the house i mean i got really excited i just want to know who has custody over it because i know that it was a gift for me a year ago but then since we <laughs> broke up yeah. yeah how do you guys split all this like stuff? how is that mine or is it yours it's yours <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's not you know it's not um it i have wider feet than you it crunches my feet oh it crunches mine too it crunches all of my foot bones. i thought it's supposed to feel good it doesn't feel good it's for um, me. yeah you have to really be able to take the pain take the pain of it yeah, it's 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 painful, Gilb. Yeah, it's painful, but it does work. It does really work. Yeah, well. yeah. My feet feel good, pretty good, but um, yeah, um, you can have it. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Wow, wow. Thank you. It means a lot. But you know that same company does the chair thing too. Maybe should I, is that should I get the chair? But it's like you're talking about like five, six, seven thousand dollars. Jeez, for you a know what mean? chair for yeah. a chair thing, like a full blown chair thing. I've thought about getting one of those. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. But if I had billions of dollars, I would hire humans to do it. Yeah, the, see, that is one of my... So if I were to become stinking rich tomorrow, I win Powerball. The, the, one of my splurges for myself would be a live-in masseur or a masseuse. No, my son is the worst these days because like, at night, he always, like, he always wakes up around midnight demanding water. And his water bottle is right next to the bed. 
So he could just learn. I haven't taught him how to figure out how to get his water bottle, but then he forces me. He, you have to like put your hand, uh, like arm over him, like a seatbelt. And if you try to lift it off when you think he's sleeping, he just grabs up with both hands, and, like grabs it back down. And you just have to sit there for like 30 minutes until you think he's probably asleep to like even just move Just yank off. it away. Then he'll cry and wake you up. Then cry. Do you want to know something really sad about when I took ketamine? What's that? I had my therapist <clears throat> hold me for 90 minutes. Like not even like, oh, keep an arm on me or anything like that. Like I pulled her in. She was like full mounted on me. Yeah, I remember that. You were crying. <laughs> like this. Like we were in like, like a full, like I was like hanging on to her frightened for 90 minutes. The poor lady was just stuck there. <laughs> oh my God, how embarrassing. <laughs> she was probably like, this isn't going the way I thought. I can promise you she's never had a patient like me require that much. Like I needed to be held tight. At any time she would kind of move or breathe, I would pull her back in. Oh, so sad. I mean, touch is so important to you. It's my number one. Physical touch is... Uh, That's everyone's. No, every a, every woman wants it. You think so? Oh, yeah. Everyone wants... That's not true. My best friend Jessica does not like being touched. Huh. She's Korean, too. Yeah. Maybe uh. this is a Korean thing. <laughs> yeah. She just doesn't like being... Uh, touches like the bottom of her list. It's just boring. It is? <laughs> I mean, let's just let's be honest. It's just a real boring activity. You know I just I mean? like laying down, touching, and making out. Yeah, that's, that's good in the first couple of two or three no, years. all the time. I love it. It's boring. It's boring. There's got to be other things involved. Like an El Mariachi thing or like, you know what I mean? There's got to be involved, like, you know what I mean? Some CGI. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do, but it's like, I, I, I don't like it. It's yeah. just a lot of just laying there and just... Yeah, but you're going, right. I don't like it's he's like a, what the fuck? Because he's he a, likes to wrestle and he likes to engage like yeah. physically. So if if touching for him is like he has to either like punch me in the pussy. Yeah. No, 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 no. He has to like if fighting for position, I'll do that. Yes, you always you're into that. Yeah, I'll fight for position. Or he does this if, thing. If he turns into a little game. <laughs> yeah. See, that's quality yeah, time yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's quality, quality time. time. That's why he likes Like if that. I can get my right hand closest to her eye armpit before she makes you know what I mean, it's like stop that. Like that's a game. We do torture tactics. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, if I can, I get put her in a leg lock. You know what I mean, and see how far I can squeeze. <laughs> Dude, you just love challenges. Yeah, I love little challenges and things. So if you know, if you want to hug and you want to cuddle, those things are involved, baby. Maybe we can do it on a mat. <laughs> Come that, on, to, oh, my a, to my jujitsu hey, hey, hey. gym. <laughs> Dude, that's it. I should have a fucking wrestling <laughs> mat or jujitsu gym in your bed. <laughs> in my bed, next to my, my bed. bed. Yeah. Right. So that that you want to cuddle, let's put on your gi. <laughs> You got to put on a gi to cuddle me. And a mouth guard. Yeah. Choo choo, ship station coming to you. The most wonderful <laughs> time of the year is also the most hectic time of the year. Can we not all agree with that? I agree. Everyone puts off shopping until the last minute. And if you have an online store like we do, you know the feeling of getting hit with a ton of orders at once. Hey, guys, Tiger Belly, we have an online store. We have great merch. And we use ShipStation. It's the best... Um, Ever. ShipStation works with all of your favorite places to sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order from one simple dashboard, automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment. Over 130,000 companies... Um, have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. This holiday season, give yourself the gift of stress-free holiday shipping. Use promo code BELLY today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code BELLY. Roman. Uh. 52% of men over 40 experience some form of erectile dysfunction in their life. Yeah. And if you're experiencing ED, there's help. Roman is the digital health clinic for men. Roman offers genuine FDA-approved medication for as little as four dollars per dose. And at Roman, there are no and at Roman, there are no waiting rooms, no hassle, just a straightforward and convenient digital experience, which means you can take care of all of it from the comfort of your home. Getting started is simple. Just grab your laptop or mobile device and start your free online visit. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. 
And if medication is appropriate, Roman sends it right to your door with free two-day shipping. Everything arrives in discreet packaging too. And it's really affordable. For example, it's $4 a dose. Yep. So that's like less than a cup of coffee? A cup of yep. coffee, yeah. Uh, right now, Roman has a special offer for our listeners. Use this link to get 20% off your first order. Just go to ro.co slash belly today. That's ro.co slash belly for 20% off. I think in the it's interesting because I, I think in the beginning of a relationship, you do certain things that are against. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but this is going to throw 90% of women listening to this are going to, I'm going to date this guy. But um, a lot of it is, you know, because um, you want them to like you, you know, and um, you're, you're trying to get in. You're, you're more pleasing. Yeah. In the beginning. And you're trying, you do things that are against your nature wait so um you would you say you are not well i guess and no one is but like are you at like 80 percent yourself like what i'm trying to ask is how much of who you present in the beginning is truly you i think uh, essentially it is truly me in terms of my humor yeah in terms of like what i like and what i don't like because i'll say this you definitely fooled me about the physical touch. Oh, my God. In the beginning, yeah. you could not get your hands, like, off of me, right? Every step I took, you were snapping pictures of me, awake, asleep, in the bathroom. Oh. Anytime, like, you were obsessed with my body. You could not, like, anytime that I would be away or even, I'm like, I'm going home to Long Beach. You'd be like, no, you're not. You're going to stay right here. And then you just always, and when we were in public, you always wanted to hold. So I was like, oh, he is such a, like I used to tell people he is so affectionate. I can't get enough of his affection. Mm. And then it just all went away. It's through time though. Now, it wasn't an overnight thing. Uh, no, it was pretty drastic. It was like after a year, you were like, all right, got her, baited her. Like now it's like, it went from like that to no cuddles at it's all. It's funny that you say that because now I'm not doing it. You're not. Oh, one. you've learned. I think I've learned. Well, were your ex girlfriends? Did they say that about you as well? Where you like you were very affectionate, no. and then it went away. No. But also, my I had only been in a relationship for two years. Right. Right. Mm. Yeah, but um, but in terms of like um, I think right now I'm, I'm setting different kind of boundaries so that that doesn't happen again. So I think I'm more essentially myself, you know? That's good. Yeah, yeah. Like in terms of like cuddling, I'll do it. But like, um, I mean, <laughs> I, the, well, there's this one girl that I really like that I'm kind of dating. And she um, she took an eye booger out of my eye. Mm -hmm. You liked it. No. Oh. And then I go, and she got up went to her kitchen and threw it in the trash can. <laughs> right? How and, big was and, and this? It, it wasn't even that big. And I, in my head, I'm like, that's weird, right? Like walk to the trash can. And then you an hour later- You're very the, boogery, though. Yeah, I think our first date, I scraped like at the <laughs> coffee shop. I was like, did you just wake up? And I scraped it off your eye. Yeah. And then um, she did it again. <laughs> like a, a couple hours later, was another, it was a hair. Wow, okay. Uh -huh. She saw a hair on, on her couch and she, she went to the, and I go, that, this is going to stop. So I plucked a hair out of my head and, put it on and I put it on her bed and I go, this has to be here. <laughs> as long as you. How did that challenge go? I don't know. That sounds more like a c compulsion on her part, right? Like she, it's like a. No, she's just cleanly. Her it's... house is very cleanly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But to throw someone's eye booger in the trash, trash can, can seems a little extreme. Yeah, I just flick you just that stuff. flick it like in the it. air and let it like you know. Why well, you find it a cute? I think it's cute. Yeah, it's a little. Cute. I think you're you have similar quirks like that. Yeah, I, I like quirks. I got a poo. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. It's Tiger Belly. All right, we're back from Bobby's poo. How was it? It's pretty good. Um, I have to like um, entice it to come out sometimes. How do what you entice it? I one of the water. Techniques. Oh, you used a bidet first. Yeah. Wait, so you sat down not knowing for Wait. sure if it was going to come out or not. My stomach, my stomach, uh, my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach, my stomach, my stomach is um a little <laughs> achy, and so um, <laughs> and you can feel like I'm about to poo, but nothing was coming out. So sometimes you need to knock on the door, like when Gandalf knocked on Fro Frodo, um, 
a, a Bilbo's door for the first time, you know, for the party, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to do that. Mm-hmm. Knock, 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 I'm in town, right? And then sometimes, you know, the door opens and he goes, I'm coming out to play. That's exactly what happened just now outside. Oh, so you're you knocking. Turn, okay. You turn on the bidet and it tickles your butthole, stimulates it. This bidet um, is pretty good, but... um. You know the one that we that was sponsored sponsored us. What was the one? Tushy. Tushy, that spray. Mm-hmm. It's it's not even just a knock. <laughs> what is it like a? Tushy's like a, a an entry, like a SWAT team. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know you're in there. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you. I think you might be a bidet expert because when you stayed at my place. Um, you were like, what? But what brand bidet is that? Because it's my favorite one. Oh, that was a very good brand. Is it the Toto? Yeah, it's the a Toto? Toto one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good because so you, good. I can at- adjust the strength of the spray, temperature, yeah. temperature, yeah. all that stuff. I mean, the one we have na- right now is the most intricate one. The Kohler. I think it's the best one. The one we have upstairs is a great one, and I don't want to downplay that one. I'm just saying that like the Tushy one is just a spray. So right. if I lived like, you know, in the mountaintops or, you know, wh- wherever in a place that's not in the city, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I had that, that would do. Well, it doesn't have the precision. It doesn't have the heat, temp- like the temperature options. And it doesn't have like, uh, the Kohler like- one has the, do you want a spiral or yes. do you want a straight shot? Or do you want a more like coverage? I like, like, the, pul- I like the pulsating one. Oh, when I need the one that goes that's so pinpoint right into my. That's asshole. the one I love. The, yeah, it's like a laser. It's a laser right into yeah, the asshole. Yeah, yeah, it's like what they use on Star Trek, but it's it's, it's, it's not water. It's, yeah, and it's it, your asshole. Yeah, yeah, but it's a really good one. But anyway, um, the door was closed and the water opened it. Wow. And then what did it look like? Was it? Like, I don't look at it. I don't like you know. I don't do a show and tell. That like really that, is that not good for survival. Hard stool, soft. Soft for sure because I told you it's not good. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, oh, I've had some not good hard where you're yeah, in you know, pain, they, where you're screaming. They call that tubul. I got tubul all day. Yeah, yeah. You don't want a tubul, babe. Tubul really hurts. You have like like blood streaks on it. Go to the questions. Okay, uh, these are some fan questions. Uh, people submitted on our Tiger Belly Instagram. We'll start with this first one. This is Minul De Silva. He asks, "What's on Bobby's current music playlist?" And same question for you. He asked Bobby. <laughs> no, he asked you first. Same to you. <laughs> How about you guys alternate songs? Don't okay. be, and you can't to be honest. You can't just be like, make it sound cool. Like, what have you actually been listening to? I mean, I, I, the new albums I've been listening, I've been listening to Tom O'Dell's new album, which is like kind of more piano based, simple. Some of the, what I like about that album is like some of the music doesn't really, it's, it's weird. It sounds like more, um, like they'd be more instrumental piano pieces, but then he sings over it. So it's interesting. Um, there's two songs in there I kind of like. One of them is called Monday. It's a good song. Mm. Tom Odell is a stud. He's a pretty good guy. Uh, I don't know him personally, <laughs> um, but I assume, you know. Um, what else am I listening to? Um, I'm listening to, I'm going back a little bit. Last weekend, I had, I, I wanted to listen to the Weezer Blue Album and Pinkerton again. So I did that for two straight days. I really like this new band, not this new band. It's not, she's been around for a while, but she's incredible. She goes by Way as Blood. So freaking good. And then I really love, I hate to say it, the Chris Brown song, Under the Influence. I haven't heard that one yet. Oh, is it good? I, I just find it like it's kind of sexy. So my mine is all over the place. I mean, 15 hours ago, you did listen to Never Really Over by Katy Perry. Wait, no, that was last night um, with the girls in the car with Jules and, and my niece. Um, but... Will you subscribe? Do you listen to my Spotify? I love your, pl- I love your playlist. I mean, this, more weird. this album right here by Ulrich Snaus, he's like an, kind of like an ambient guy. Strange, a Strangely Isolated Place is the album. I, from beginning to end, it's, just, it's my jam. Hmm. And it's like um, the soundtrack to my life right now. Aww. FYI. And there's another one too, um, if you may. If we may. Um, here's another soundtrack to my life is Nils you like, from. You like Nils from a yeah, lot. Yeah, but this album. Guys, listen. If you want sad and like just simple. <laughs> no, 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 not oh, even sad. I think Nils Fromm is genius. No, he is. But this a- specific album I'm saying, you know, this specific, this specific album, it's called um, Screws, you know, and let me just play a little bit. If you, can we or no? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sad. It's super but sad and nice you. and moody. But, you know, but that's what I've been listening to. Um and then we also Ooh, there's another one called um it's um it's by Dijon. It's called The Dress. 
I'm obsessed. Oh, and on- I thought that was a mustard. I, I also thought it was a mustard. No, and then another song by Andara called uh, Saying Goodbye. I listen to on repeat. That's like my emo cry song, though. Man, yeah. you guys really like a lot of emo songs. I do. I know. I, I hop all over the place. I don't like pe- when people are like, I don't like uh, cool music types. I, I want to like have the freedom to listen to the Spice Girls. And mm. and I want to also have the freedom to like whatever the hell I want to without like shame around whether or not like I have cool taste in music. Um, this We have a question from Mike Cables, underscore Cables. If you could take over anyone's life in the whole world, who would you be? Putin. Interesting. Why? I don't know. I think he has a lot of power. You cool. just like... <laughs> <laughs> I like his hairstyle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tell the truth, the hairstyle. Yeah, the hairstyle. Um, I love Access. palaces. I love palaces. <laughs> no, um, he... I, I would probably take over a job where like... A, a place like Russia and try to like reinvent it. You know what I mean? And just pull, I would pu- I'd probably pull out of Ukraine if I was Putin. Mm-hmm. Right? And I would like just do a complete turnaround. That's an interesting scenario. Yeah. It's you're still Bobby, you're just in the body of Putin. Imagine me like, in the body like so that would be, be like, so did, cool. Is Putin at like a comedy club right now doing stand up? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh that oh, the Hello, very, my friends. <laughs> and over my friends. Yeah. I'm a fat Pikachu. No, I no, because I would have my own accent. Yeah, I would sound like me right now. Oh, it's still your voice, but his. Yeah, I would just body. be inside him, right? And they'd be like, "Whoa, the Kremlin's now a comedy store." <laughs> <laughs> you know? Since the, the Ukrainian president was a comedian, oh, like maybe right. like, do a That's comedy right. off. No, what what I do is the, I would turn the Kremlin into the comedy store, mm-hmm. Russia, right? <laughs> and the on my opening weekend, the headliner is Zelensky. Mm-hmm. So that's, good. That's how you unite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Countries. I don't think he would do it though. I think he. Imagine he'd be like, "You were just bombing. You killed so many of my people like a month ago. I'm not going to headline your club." But so you're it's gonna a bit. Give, <laughs> it's right? a bit. You're going to give something about how now it's time to heal the divide, and you know, right? You're going to say all the right things. But if not him, if not him, who would I like? Look, like, uh, you know what? Also, I would I would have George as my booker. <laughs> Was so For your random. comedy store Russia? Yes, comedy store. Well, I have to call Peter Shore and stuff and see if I can, you know, franchise it franchise out. Franchise it out. Franchise in yeah. Moscow. Yeah, yeah. But if we can, right, I would go. Well, I'm looking. I'm thinking about George as my booker. So I can just get you out of here. <laughs> but, but, uh, but, but you'll be there with me, and you'll live with, in a palace with your wife and your kids. Oh wow! You know, you're gonna get like, I, I'm gonna stoke you out, dude. You, 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 you might even get a province. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell do Gilbert and I get? You're here. <laughs> we got to hold down the podcast. We got to hold down the podcast, <laughs> oh, yes. man. Well, but the, so, well, who would be book if I, I call you? I go, yeah, man, Zelensky's out. He just doesn't trust me. I'm sorry. It's just you're this voice with Putin <laughs> I know. on a horse. What? You're on a horse. Yeah. It's Colin George. Uh, maybe I should well, ch- try to do an accent, right? Try your best. Well, Mel, what? <laughs> Mel? Wait, wait. <laughs> Me- Ma- Wait, did you say Mayway? Ma- 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 Mayway. Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Book him. Yeah. Book Floyd Mayweather. No, do a Russian accent. See if I can. I've, like uh, Evelyn Salt. You a Russian spy. You're a Russian spy. All right. Mm-hmm. Georgie. You know. Zelensky. Zelensky. He, he pulled out. You know. Who do we get? Uh, well, we get everybody from uh, from this get? fool because that was my kind of my class of, uh, oh, of open micers. Except I'm Frankie, not sure any of them remember. Frankie, me. Frankie you know that we, we get yeah. it. Look, creep. What else do we get? Uh, Chris Estrada. Chris Estrada. Okay, we've got it. So that would be our first week. Mexicans to open the first <laughs> Moscow. Ukrainian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. They're the great uniters. <laughs> oh. oh, that's true. But I wouldn't fly them. They can they can hop borders. Mexicans. <laughs> They can sneak through. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't they be able to do that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're resourceful. Yeah, but I would probably do that as as uh, Putin. What else would I do? Um, you know how they love McDonald's? Yeah. In Russia? Well, everywhere. Right. But what I would do is I would just open it up to, I get, I would call in and out Burger. Because it's, it's a superior burger. Mm-hmm. I would have some like hi-ho or some like, you know what I mean? Upper, you know, echelons in terms of hamburgers. I would open up um, pretty cool restaurants there, man. But there's no more McDonald's in Russia, right? They closed it down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And people are bummed. Damn. Like, McDonald's in Russia is like a high-end thing. Like, you save your money and you look forward to going. Yeah, that's like in the Philippines when, like, 
Kenny Rogers Roasters yeah. made it to Manila. And I lived in Cebu. Like, when we would fly over to Manila, it was always like, Kenny Rogers! Yeah. And, like, when I came here to America, I was like, where's, like, where's the Kenny Rogers? And, like, there was never a Kenny Rogers here. You mean this country singer? No, Kenny Rogers Roasters. He had a but restaurant in the Philippines. Does he own it? Kenny Rogers, the fucking I would hope country so. singer. Or, you know what's really <laughs> big in the Philippines? Like, TGI Fridays. Like, yeah. That is, like, you know, Huge. fine dining. That is? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. Like, when I, it's just, like, it's an American thing. It's an American staple. So people view it differently the way, um, as opposed to how we see it over here. Over here, we're like, oh, TGI Fridays. Yeah, right. It's like McDonald's here is like, I've peed on so many McDonald's like late at night where I'm like, I got to pee. <laughs> and that's like a place where I just pee on the building. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. It's like, a, it's not like it's the bottom of the barrel, right? In, com- in terms of food in America, no? Mm, no. What's the bottom of the barrel in terms of out going out to eat? Like fast food places? Any restaurant. So I, I, I guess taquitos at Seven ta- at, at Eleven. Like, but that's not a restaurant. I'm saying in terms of restaurants, what's I the bottom? Fast food probably would be McDonald's. I'll say, yeah, I would put like Carl's Jr. under that. Oh really? Or a, I don't know. They have egg rolls. Who's had the most salmonella? <laughs> Uh, Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Jack yes. in the box. Dude, I got the worst food poisoning from Wendy's. But Wendy's delicious. Wendy's. Wendy's is so good though. Fucked me up. What do you get at Wendy's? The chili and also they have the f- chili at Wendy's. That's what the that you, bro. You bro. put the fries in the bro, chili. bro, bro, <laughs> bro. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. They have. Do chili, they have yeah. fucking chili, chili at Wendy's? Yeah, they do have the best chili at Wendy's. That's what they're known is there for. Their chicken edge and their be- frosties. Oh, Frosties and fries. Yes, Frosties I, and fries yeah. and chili. That's the a meal. Frosties, yes. Yeah. But I would. Do they have Taco Bell in um, Russia? <gasps> uh, I, I don't like think Mexican no. food is big overseas because, yeah, my friend tried to like start the first Mexican restaurant in uh, Taiwan when he was over teaching English there and it didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it's so funny because I had a. I remember I went to a place called Chimichangas in, um, in um, Hungary. And it's called Chimichangas? Yeah, the re- and I'm like, oh. Oh, a little taste from home. Well, Mexico. I was walking by and I go, I'll eat here. And I and I got like their traditional, that's what it says. I didn't read what was in it. And I opened it up and it was ground beef and french fries. Oh. oh you know what I mean? Wow. They took a tortilla, fried it with ground beef, and then also the cheese that you would get at like, you know, Vaughn's for dipping. Like government cheese? Government cheese. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was Terrible. I have, um, but isn't the chimney changa an American made thing? Did you say the chimney? The chimney changa is that, it gotta be from Mexico. No, it's not. I think I'm pretty sure it's American made. All it is, uh, all the I, best Mexican food is American it's also Mexican not, it, uh, food. Yeah, all it is is a fucking burrito fried. I know. You don't, th- you don't think the fucking Mexicans at one point went, well, we have the burrito. Boom. One Chimich- guy didn't go, let's fucking fry it. Chimichang is a deep fried burrito that is common in Tex Mex and other Southwestern U.S. cuisine. Tex-Mex, where was it original? What the, was origi- the original Mexico. The Wait, original fusion food. The first chimichanga was made in Mexico. What I'm sure, I always just thought certain yeah. things like, like burritos and like bigger things, like bigger serving things were Amer- like that's an Americanized Mexican food. Like the nachos bel grande, delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely American. So but good. I think the burrito is Mexican. Mm. I think the tacos Mexican. Burrito, yeah. Yeah. So let's just get, put that to. Let's put that to rest. Yeah. That argument. Let's not get crazy. Um, but that's what I would do. What else? In, I also put, probably put a Disneyland or like a, a Magic Mountain in Russia. They, do they have any amusement parks? There? I doubt it. It doesn't seem like there is. I mean, would he allow that? Yeah. Dude, the amusement parks. <laughs> yeah. we, we didn't grow up with amusement parks. So roller coasters was such like a novel thing when we first came here. So I didn't grow up. Uh, that's why I'm like terrified of them. Mm. But there was one, like there was like a traveling circus that <laughs> came to my island and they would bring like like a makeshift pool and put these sad dolphins in there and you could like pet the dolphins. But there was uh-huh. this one ride they called the octopus. Yeah. And I swear to you, like this is the most unsafe thing. It was just like fling you in all directions. <laughs> Out of the water? No, no, not in the water. It was like a, a roller coaster ride. Called the octopus? The octopus. And then like you if you hear my mom, like her one of her biggest traumas, like core wounds in her life, like ask her, like, what is a terrible memory for you? She'll be like, I never want to ride the octopus. <laughs> really? <again." laughs> That's funny. It's always the octopus. Yeah. Like she it was so traumatizing for all of us. It's like the Indian roller coaster I showed you. Did you see that? What's that oh. called? It's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna so cause you so much terrible. trauma. It just happened. 
What well, do you mean? It just so did, yeah, the Indian. Oh God! Just saw the news articles. The, no, watch. Play the video. I don't want to see it. Don't want to put the guys out. Okay, you guys. Yeah, yeah. No one dies. Oh no one. Oh, dies. I was just gonna ask about the. Yeah, that's it. That. Look at this. Look at this shit right here. I don't. I don't know. Put. Your, can you go? Uh, um. You gotta get the sound. It's that thing. Go. Go big screen. Oh! Yeah, he made me watch this shit. Did not like. No yo, died. yo, what? <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> yo, yo, dude. Zocdoc, it's yeah. genius. Uh huh. Before you book any brunch, you pour over lists and lists of reviews. Did we not all do that? So why not do the same when you're booking a doctor's appointment? It's genius. With ZocDoc, you can see real verified patient reviews to find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. After all, finding the right doctor is just as if not more important than finding the right plate of eggs, Benedict. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, mm -hmm. get that mole checked out, or anything else, ZocDoc has you covered. Go to ZocDoc.com, find the doctor that's right for you, and book an appointment in person or remotely that works for your schedule. Go to ZocDoc.com slash belly and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash belly. ZocDoc.com slash belly. Oh. <laughs> Yo, dude. Dude, that... How does no one die? I know, but that would have been the greatest ride if you survived it, you're like, like you would think about it. Maybe was it traumatic or like that was a great ride? I almost there died. Are two ways to that. Yeah. yeah. What would you I mean, feel? Would you never ride another ride, ride, ride another roller coaster again? There is a part of me. Look, that's <laughs> traumatizing. That's terrible. Yeah, but yeah. I would say that's kind of like survive that shit. Yeah. And you have a story. Yeah, that's a story. But and you could always go to YouTube and go look at look. I was on that. Dude, that's so that's fucking crazy though. Yeah, I would never ride anything. You're again. smiling so much. I feel like you you kind of want to be in one of those situations, huh? Like you're that guy that wanted the roller coaster to get stuck in a loop so you can talk about it. No. Dude, me? I'm so sensitive. Are you crazy? You're smiling so much watching that thing fall. My words? <laughs> you're just like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like... he Disaster <laughs> porn. That's his thing. That's horrifying. It is horrifying. <laughs> it's a horrifying event. That's a horrifying. It's a horrifying. One of terrible. the most terrible things I was kind of close Ooh. to was I was at Long Beach or Long Beach State at this time. I was taking a biology class there and all of a sudden you heard like a bunch of um, fire trucks come through and then um, they um, you, you found out later that there was a girl who got stuck between two um, floors on the elevator and she panicked and she could see a little like sliver of space um, between the, each floor where she was like, oh, I'm just going to crawl into that space. So she tried to, but then the elevator started moving. Oh, my God. And it, like, cut her body. Oh. No. Oh. And everyone in that building, like, heard the scream. Did she die? She died. And I was right in the build. I was, like, just a couple, um, the building right next door. Yeah, even witnessing mm. something like that. Like, if I was, mm. like, a, a, a elevator, you know what I mean? Uh, told, what do you call them? Attendant. Attendant. Like in those old school, like uh, 1950s. Uh, what floor, sir? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? What Ooh. do you call those guys? A bell, uh, bell, bell hop? Maybe a uh, bell hop. Not bell. That's the guy that takes the luggage up. Yeah. Um, just elevator. Elevator. Elevator guy. Elevator like guy. Then, like then the Royal Tenon Bombs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pagoda. Yeah, yeah Pagoda, yeah. Yeah. And if I, if I witnessed that, even a, a woman being sliced in half, I would probably have to go away for like a year. Same. Yeah, that would fuck me up. Oh, my God. What do you know about me and elevators, Bobby? You love them. I don't take them. That's right. I don't care if it's nine. <laughs> I, I guessed wrong. <laughs> That's right. You hate them. I hate them. Yeah, yeah. 
I what do you hate about them? I have to be on like when I if it's like a sketchy elevator, I have to be on my phone with somebody. Just be like, hey, I'm in the elevator in case anything goes wrong. I've been stuck in. I'm just terrified of them. If there's nine flights, but you've been I'll, stuck in an elevator where you had to call that little at Kaiser uh, Permanente on Sunset. Yes. Well, you're in a hospital. That's cool. <laughs> How long were you stuck? You know what I mean? If I could get hurt, what? Not even that long. Like honestly, five minutes probably. But I was Clark. freaking the fuck out because I always think that something is gonna happen. When I was younger, I went to a swim meet in. Jakarta, Indonesia, and it was hotel, I think it was like Mulia or something like that, and it was a very high building, and we were, I, the elevator dropped suddenly, because like a new construction, mm. and the elevator dropped suddenly like five floors, and then the lights went out, and I, that was a childhood thing that happened to me, and ever since then, I'm like, oh, nine flights? I'll take those stairs. Damn. I'm not going to take that ride. So I'm terrified of elevators. Yeah, me too. No, you're not. You have well, no fear I, I, in life. I, I, I have a fear of that. What are you afraid of, Bobby? In an elevator, you know that hatchet above? Mm -hmm. I'm always afraid of that thing. The door? What hatchet? The door. Why? Because I feel like if that opens, someone dressed like Hannibal Lecter is going <laughs> to... <laughs> Come down. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yep. Yeah, yeah. That hatchet... Not, but you know what? That hatchet also, if you've seen action movies, sometimes the hero will climb up oh, that thing. it saves the person. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you even get... I, because whenever I see that hatchet, like, there's no way I can reach. I'm so small. You can never... So I can't be a hero. So if you're a hero in a I movie... I can't be a hero in that way. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's no way. Unless somebody was there... I'll boost the you. I'll you boost you. You would boost me? Yeah. No, you're taller. You go up. I don't want to go up. <laughs> All right, I don't well, even want to... I'm not even in there. Right. She's walking. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm taking those stairs. Like even in Die Hard, like when he had to walk barefoot through that broken glass, like I would have never done that. It's ridiculous. I'm not a hero. You know what I mean? I would have been like, ah, it's not worth it. You know yeah, but mean? you're kind of a thrill seeker. You are not somebody who's afraid of a lot of things. Like I fear a lot of things, but you you have no fears at all. L like what? I have so many fears. No, like you're so like, bold when you drive. Like you just you just you have a reckless abandon about here, you. I wish I had more. Typical of. things. Are you gonna? Would you skydive? No, no, never. Just no. Oh, no. okay. So then, no, but I don't. I, I think it's just because he. You're the one that jumped off cliffs in the Philippines and stuff. I don't go to the cliff jumping thing. Oh, I'm terrified of those things. But you still do it. <laughs> I I do it because. Am I ever there with you? No, but that's just lazy. No, it's because I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I don't think you want to walk. No, I I oh. I don't even want the or fucking hike. scenario of somebody challenging me to do it. That's why I don't do it. Oh, because then you will do it. I'll have to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because you'll challenge my ego and then like, you know what I mean? I'll hit a fucking coral but reef. But here, I'll, I'll, how about this scenario? But if I were to, let's say, airlift you to that spot of uh, of where where I jumped yeah. and there was no effort involved, there's no hike, you know, you had all the food you wanted, you would jump. You no, the hiking hike. part I like. I just want the option of, I don't like that option. Of? Jumping off a Of jumping off a thing. I just can't imagine you're afraid of heights or anything. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, really? I mean... I'll, I'll go you, on to the uh, the tallest building in the world and look over. Yeah, but you, you're not afraid of roller coasters like any of them. Yeah, because nothing's gonna happen. The odds of a, a roller coaster that you happening. Not see the India. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to <laughs> India. That's why I don't go to India and do their fucking roller coasters. I don't do any. I don't want to ride their horses. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't do anything there, dude. I wouldn't like you know what I mean. Do any of it? Skateboard? Nothing. <laughs> I just doesn't seem safe to me there. The horses. Yeah, the ro the roads are too bumpy. You know what I mean? It just doesn't. You know, I I look at my environment. You know, like I've done that like thing at um. Universal. You don't even look at your own poo. Yeah, that's honestly that. Kind that of is a weird thing. You look at your poo every I, fucking time. Every time. What is there to see? Poo. You count the peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like to know the shape. I like to know the density. I like to know, like, there's certain things I can deduce from, a, how, you know, about my body based on poo. If I felt something metallic or something. <laughs> Wait, how do you feel? Slice? Like, oh, I'm bleeding, my asshole. Or, yeah, something coming out like a matchbox car or, you know, something yeah, coming yeah, out yeah. that I felt unnatural. <laughs> I would take a gander, right? I would be like, that didn't feel right. Let me, check, you know what I mean? Yeah. That felt like a marble. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, I would look at it and go, "Oh, there's a marble in my fucking pool, right?" But it felt like if it felt like traditional, old school, oh yeah, roundabout, classic, classic yeah. poo, I'm not gonna look. He has, a, he does have a point then. I guess. Thank you so much. You look at your poo every time? Not every time. Yeah. Sometimes Thank I just you. know what it is. Right. You know. Yeah. If I feel like maybe the odds of there being blood, I'll look. But mm -hmm. other than that, no, not really. Hmm. Uh, do you look at your own poo? 
Nah, I usually do a courtesy flush and then. Uh, What's a courtesy flush? You bow or something? While it's you coming flush down. It oh. while Plop, the poop flush. Coming out. Oh, I see. Thank you for leading my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you did like a curtsy or something. My wife is a super smeller. I gotta be. I gotta be careful. You know. Plop flush. And use the guest bathroom. I have to, she gets to poop in the regular bathroom, the master bathroom. I have to get poop in the guest bathroom. I oh. you know what? I was talking to um Sosi last night and I think I'm ready to enter my filthy girl era. Like I've always prioritize hygiene my whole life in the way I smell how I present myself during sex I always have to be like fully showered and I think I've I've fucked myself out of fun experiences because I'm always so conscious about like my cleanliness and I really want to learn to let that all go and just be a filthy girl and trust that whoever is attracted to me is gonna gobble me up regardless if there's you know specks of shit in my asshole mm. nah no. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 nah. no no wait have you always liked like you know do you like girls to be clean or do you not care like when you're in it and you're attracted to somebody no. like it doesn't matter you're right? saying gobble up like I'm not a like smell <coughs> a smell will throw me off I agree a smell will determine a lot of things you know, it's like your hair. It depends on how hot you are. That's what I'm saying. So if there's full attraction, I don't mm. think it matters. So yeah, okay. I want to be that fully attractive person, dirty or clean. And for him to be like, fuck yeah, like, let me just get out. You know what I mean? Like, I want that. Right. Because Esther, she makes such a good point. Esther is like, no, I want to be with a person who I want to eat like the, the, the most disgusting burger, like come off of a 12 hour flight. And him just be like, you know, hungry for me. Mm. Like he just wants to be filthy. And I'm like, oh shit, like that is kind of hot. Yeah. But I've never that. I'm never that. Why I'm so like rigid about cleanliness. Like who's the most beautiful? Like Gal Gadot. Oh okay. yeah, come if on. If Gal Gadot, God. like if I was like, oh my god, she's gonna let me eat her vagina. Say she's not a good wiper. Right. And the, and if I looked at her vagina and there was an actual poo in her vagina, I would eat it. Okay. D just the poo. This is hopeful. No, because it's like it's like ah, oh, it's Gal Gadot. You Wonder, know, I just Wonder wanna, Woman. I would even do this with my hands, like ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poo. You know what I mean? Beautiful <laughs> vagina. You know what I mean? And and vagina would win, right? Wow. Yeah. But if it was like I but don't want to shame anybody, but like Rosie O'Donnell, beautiful lady, <laughs> great. I, she's funny. I think very talented. That thing better be as clean as a fucking yeah. You know, brand new car. Whistle. Yeah. Yeah. It, I'm just gotta be. Yeah, I, I have to smell new car smell. You gotta smell. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's gotta be there. Yeah, that's a brand new 2020 <laughs> Subaru. Gil, like, what about you? If you really like love someone, you're just fully attracted to them. Like, do you care? I'm okay. You know that smell? Like, you're going down a girl, and it's like that kind of urine taste. I'm okay with that. But There's it's a urine taste. The, I've never tasted urine taste. <laughs> Thank you. It described that to me. Uh, you mean, is it the copper taste? It's like copper, but then sometimes you know. P is on the pubic hair sometimes from wiping. That no, I'm no, okay. Let's just okay. say this. No, no, let me just say if something. If I smell no, no, your, no, if there's, if you can see droplets of pee, that, hey, I'm on the pubic hair. Bye bye. Uh, hydration. What? Look, what I don't it want. <laughs> well, hydration. What, you know what? <laughs> what do you mean? What I hydration. What I don't want is I just cannot do poo. Like he said, one smell can shift it. I don't care if you're a Gal Gadot. But here's what you're saying. Here's what you're telling me is like, yeah, there are times where I don't have access to a shower and maybe I just peed and maybe there's still a little bit of like pee. Like, I don't mind that. I'm uh, okay I love that. you for that. See, that's what I want. But you want us to gobble up your poo and I don't want to do that. No, I'm not intentionally. I don't want you to eat my poo. But if like, let's say there was a sloppy day and I'm like, he really wants to fuck. And I'm like, I am so like, you know, I just, you know, the wipe wasn't, and not, he's gonna be like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, babe. I don't give a fuck. I want to just have you regardless. Like that's what I want." I was gonna be like, "Yeah, let's just kiss," <laughs> and then go clean yourself, you disgusting. George, whore. what about you? I'm fine with any vagina smell, but uh, not poo smells. At uh, give me all the vagina but, smells. Yeah, all of them. Uh, any yes, of them. Fine. George. All the vagina. Maybe at least four vagina. <laughs> Urine, because I, I think Period? there's one or two, but like, let's see if it's urine? all of them. It seems to all of indicate them urine. But what are all of them? The ones U urine, copper, sometimes nickel. I know it sounds weird, but nickel. Oh no, yeah, when, when we're on our periods, it smells metallic. That's what I meant. The copper. So that's under one umbrella. Okay, okay. So slightly sweaty. That's fine. Hell yeah, that is fine with me. Kind of hot. 
Yeah. Because I like sweaty balls. I love, I, I like man stink. If I'm attracted to you, I like all of the smells. Interesting. <laughs> like, why can't you, like, because I'm like, why don't I offer myself that same, like, like I love when I'm attracted to someone and, and they're stinky. I'm like, fuck yeah, I like it. But I feel not that way about myself. Anyways, mm. the third pussy smell. I don't know. I don't even, I don't classify them because I don't mind them. Yeah. I, very good. Very good, George. Very, very good. But Klala. Clean your butt. My like, butt is squeaky fucking clean always, but I would, I would, I'm trying to not keep it squeaky clean anymore. Now, this just gave me the. <laughs> I I don't know why this popped into my head, but I read like there was a Thoreau book, like he's the travel writer. I forget which Thoreau it was. He was at an island in the, like near the Samoan Islands, where the women women would rape the men, and they would <laughs> get the men hard. What It'd island be like is that? Five women. <laughs> what island is that? How much the ticket? I don't know. No. <laughs> They, they didn't, weren't all necessarily attractive women. They, they, they'd say, like, care, no matter what it was, they would tackle the man, hold him down. It'd be like five women. And then if he didn't get hard, one of them would just get on top of him, put her, put her vagina right in his face until he got hard. Wow. And yeah, that, that, wouldn't get, that wouldn't get me hard. They said it worked. Vagina? No matter what, no matter what the smell. Like, the, these women probably didn't worry about their smell. They were like, I'm just huh. going to get it there until, so it, uh, until it gets hard. That is hot. If that was is that a thing? Women raping men? I, it was in a book. Yes, yeah, of course. Which, was it Paul Thoreau? Which is the travel writer? Volume nine. Oh, hold on. I don't know, but it's one of the. It's definitely popping up occasionally. That's interesting. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I mean, if a woman raped me, I don't think I would say anything. Play the context. Yeah, it's an island full of women raping you. I love it. Vagina smashing in your face. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I don't think you would care either. I wouldn't body. have a whistle or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. As soon as you jump in the alley, you throw the whistle in the ocean. Yeah, just throw it. Let's, Let's go! Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't yell fire or nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. That'd be amazing. It's not working on this guy. He's just... Y- yeah. Just wait, wait. Now I'm wondering, you know, I'm, I'm a married man, but like, could I get away with it? Like, just go to this island. Hey, I was, I was just a tourist. They held me down. It was, I couldn't help it at all. Yeah, is that... Cons- could your spouse get mar- mad at that? Yeah, that's what it, I mean. Yeah, because if he I, bought if he, the ticket to go there. He bought the ticket to the world <laughs> famous. A beautiful island. The world famous rape island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> rape island is beautiful. God. Majestic waterfalls, you know. Huh. I'm there, I'm going for the snorkeling, <laughs> huh. I promise. Um, rape is bad at, on a, every level. Let's not is. even joke about I it. I know. It's, come on. It's not talking so about sad. that island anymore. All right. Final like one. That. This is from uh, Epreciado91. What is your least favorite area in San Diego? Why? What is your least? I have an answer. Area? Go ahead. You go first. Probably PB. Mm. What's PB for people? Pacific Beach. Mm-hmm. Why? We describe it's a collegey, drinky kind of beach town. You know what I mean? At night. A lot of bros. A lot of bros. Oh, okay. Skateboards. Um, I've had some trauma happening in PB. Hell Wait, yeah. I imagine me, you of all people would. Give me yeah. a PB story. All right. The worst trauma I ever had was. Um, there was this kid that I went to high school with, and his name was uh, Chris. I want to get to say his last name. Anyway, at the time, like I turned him on to like pretty good, cool, cool music. Mm-hmm. I turned him on to like Roxy music and some stuff like that. And so later, like in his twenties, he became like one of the main guys at ninety one X, which is the cool alternative station there. Mm-hmm. And then when I was twenty three. I we 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 would have to make tickets to sell shows. So I would, I, I convinced the comedy store to make the tickets look like real professional tickets so that, and, and put money, on, like a, a value on the ticket so people would get more excited to see it. It's, it works better than flyers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So you go, here's a free ticket and it says $10 on it. So it ma- Wait, you came up with that? Yeah. You're so smart. Well, because I couldn't get stage time. It was the only way to do it. Uh-huh. So me and my friend Jonathan, every Wednesday at the store, we would sell it out. But we would have to like, Go to like at the time there was a thing called Jack Murphy Stadium. I think it's something else now, where the Padres played, and we would do tailgating. When people would tailgate, I would just we would just go through the whole parking lot and pass out these flyers. I mean these tickets. My oh, so anyway, I was at the PB, some sort of street fair, and ninety one X had a booth, right? And I wanted tickets, and I saw Chris there, and I go, "Can I put my tickets on your ninety one X table?" And he goes, no one's going to watch that stupid show or some, some con- 
condescending thing like that. And, he, and then he goes, no, it wouldn't help me, you know. That's a stupid story, but. Wait. It's like maybe you got beat up by some bros. No, but... that no, that hurt the most. Oh, wow. Yeah. They, if, if, if you, if, when it comes to my dream. Damn. That's the one thing. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I go, I've done so many scandalous things in defense of my dream. Like, I, I'm willing to cheat, um, lie, fuck over mm -hmm. for stage time. Not, not, I mean, anything that revolves around my, that, I will do anything. That's your number one. I wouldn't kill anybody, but I come close to it. And I've seen other comics, like, you know what I mean? Like when, when comics bump other comics and that thing comes out, like, I know, I understand what that is. It's like, this is my thing, man. This is the only thing I'm living for. Is it because there, um, you, you feel the most amount of love when you're up there and adoration? Like, is it such a... It's my only hope for survival. Like this, you're defending, right? Like you, so you're almost defending this one thing, which is stage time. But what is it about stage time that you feel like I need, like you cannot come between me and stage time? Is it the feeling that you have when you're up it, there, or is it the fact that this is your livelihood and that money is going to be on? It's not the just table? yeah. It, it's two things. Yeah. All right. That's so, so closely related to it. And this sounds so fucking primitive. Money, mm -hmm. security, mm -hmm. and pussy. Mm -hmm. Which is security. Right? All that stuff is wrapped around that whole idea of a dream. And so I feel like I have to protect it at all costs. And I have to do anything I can to do it. Like, I'm not going to name any names. But this weekend, a bigger comedian, right? You know what I mean? Was at the store. And some guy that works there, just works there, was talking shit. And this bigger comedian took action, Right? There were some physicalities that involved was involved, Oof. but I side with the bigger comedian because I understand what that is. You know what I mean? You have someone talking shit, ruining your reputation. You know what I mean? And it 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 carves into that dream. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, I I when they, when it turns, I've seen George Lopez strangle out Carlos Mencia. <laughs> That's a, all a part of that dream. George is not a violent man. Mm -mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you're you're stealing jokes. You know what I mean? That's like, yeah, yeah. And this is before George was George Lopez. I mean, he was a up and coming guy, you yeah. know. And that I've seen that all the time. So I just feel like, um, I'm not saying it's justified, and I'm not even saying that it's a good thing. You know what I mean? It's just an honest truth. And then, uh, oh, well, here's a fun one. I'm just out of curiosity. This is a philosophical question. This is from Hale seventy five underscore. How many holes does a straw have? Think about it. A straw? A straw. One, two, or two. Mm. Oh yeah! How, how many you, holes is that? How, it's how a, do you perceive a, that? Yeah, yeah. There's two holes. Kalila, I don't understand the question. <laughs> how many holes does a straw have? I can see the argument for one, and I would like to. I would like to see you guys. I mean, of course, I'm going to say two, but it is technically just one tunnel. Right. So it's one hole. So I think like, it's one hole. It's one hole with two entries. Like your? Is it your mouth and your asshole? Is that one hole or yeah. is that two? It's just one whole digestive tract. That's well. Now that you say that, but see, they do two different. They do connect, they right? Connect, that, you're gonna fuck things. my mind up, right? But now, think right? about that. Do you have one hole? It's one tube. When someone's, but you're the, doing the, a blowjob. Are they also? No, fucking it's your multiple ass? holes. Um, but I don't know if the hole of the fucking pee hole is connected to the butthole. It, it well, oh. I'll tell you. You know what I mean? If I knew the signs behind it, then I could answer that question. Right now, I have two holes. I think I, I think Bobby's right. I think a straw has two holes. There's an exit and an entry hole along one tube. That's the way to look at it. You're right. Yeah. It's two holes. My original thing. Wow. But oh. it's something that I'm going to think about for the rest of my life. Thank but you. if you look at it down <laughs> this way, if you flip the straw and you're looking down perspective, it's just one, one hole. hole. But there are two. If you look through one hole, like if you're looking Perfectly. down to up, it's just one. Yeah, but the hole is the actual entry, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. So there's two holes. How do you, I mean, I don't know. Well, I was trying to think if you squished it, then it looks like a donut. Is that then one hole? Is it just exactly an so elongated? A donut. Is it donut two one holes hole. or one hole? Um, that's why it's like. Oh my God, that's interesting. Now we're, t yeah. 
In a donut situation, it's probably <laughs> one hole. But also, a donut but is not a is tube. Not yeah, but there is still a little bit of a division there where there is a tube. So not it's are, a short tube. From what you guys are saying philosophically, you're saying a tube is what defines a hole. It's di- just saying. I think of a hole as an entryway. Mm. You know, or so, an exit. <laughs> right? That's how I think of holes. Okay. Right? So it like an orifice, say for instance, an orifice, a mouth, an ear, um, an asshole. Those are all holes to me along one continuous tunnel, maybe. Yeah, and also when you say black holes up in space, mm-hmm. you don't say hole. There's a black holes up there. It's a black hole, but there is another end. Mm. I saw Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or no, is there when you go through a black hole, is there an exit point? Yes. So in reverse, there would be another black hole going the other way. But it is called black hole, not but black the, hole. But they don't call it black holes. That's something different. That's something different. Black holes is something different. I think and the answer. I love that website. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful website. Check out blackholes.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it. The answer is not going to it's not going to come from a philosopher or a scientist. It's going to be the person who defines the word whole, like someone who is like a, a, a word person. What do you call that? I, I, I honestly think it's one person. of those questions you a can never. Person. There's no way to win the argument. Yeah, they go in circles. You can go in circles. Right. And do it, you think we can? And a circle makes a hole. A hole. You're right. This is great. A circle is not a hole. I can draw a circle on a paper. That doesn't make it a hole. Well, see, now you're adding a layer of that you're now defining a hole to have a purpose. No, a hole is something that's 3D. Something that you can, yeah, like it's real life. It's not a drawing on paper. Mm-hmm. Like if I, I see a dirt field and I, you know I mean? I dig a hole. That's a hole, right? Yeah, you can But dig if I dig circle. so deep and it ends up t- into China, <laughs> 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 right? Like, then the, there are two holes. I gotta watch the movie Holes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, man. To dig a hole from here and end up in China, what if that was a thing? I mean, it's theoretically possible. Why hasn't someone tried that with technology like Elon Musk? Like, can we not try that? But you'd have to go to the core through the core, though. It's super hot. I heard. Let's say you avoid the core. You just do one of those. <laughs> yeah. There's like metallic fluid going in a circle at a million miles per hour. There. There's just no way. There's no way. Yeah, I don't think it's even theoretically possible. Is it theoretically possible, do you think? There's no way. To yeah. what? Like if super, if there was a Superman. He wants to know, can you dig a hole from here yeah. to the other side of the world and end up in China? I'm sure you could. No, you can't. No. I'm not, well, she's not, well, I'm not, sh- we're like, not saying okay, exactly. If we're talking about like, I mean, people are like <laughs> mining the seabed, right? There's no fucking way to do it. There's it, no way, because the center of the, it's not like the center of the fucking earth is solid. You, you oh. can't, because of the ocean is what get, makes it complicated. You, no one's thinking of the fucking ocean, how you're going to dig a hole through an ocean? No, like, if you're in the middle of Montana, Montana yeah. there's no ocean there. <laughs> okay, so where are we starting and where are we ending? <laughs> Montana. Oh, we're not crossing the Pacific this way? What are you talking about? You, you, you're going to do a side hole? Wait a second. You think it, we're just one giant landmass? No. no, what I'm saying, saying is, are you a flat earther, Kalila? No, yeah, yeah, that's what you're. I think that's what no, you're doing. What ha- tell me. I'm in Montana. Okay. All right. Just a regular guy. Let's yeah. just call me Red. Mm-hmm. Red Johnson. Right. Okay. Red. Right. Johnson. And I have a fucking shovel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Red Johnson. Right. And I'm digging in the earth. Yeah. Right. If I dig straight down into the earth, the other side is probably China. Oh, straight down. Well, wait, <laughs> you've never heard this before? What do you mean? You've never heard this before. Well, wait, no, wait, wait. I, I have to know. I want to know what her thing is. I, I want to know what your okay, thing is Let me now. just get It's like what I, I'm thinking in like El Chapo escape, right? Like when El Chapo built, I, dug a hole from prison all the way out into the forest and he rode away in his motorcycle. That's what I'm thinking. Like a tunnel. You're building a tunnel from one end, like from Montana to California, like an underground tunnel. I, 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 I misunderstood. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, because I was like, do that. no, you can't because you would have to cross seas. But if you're saying if you go straight, just poke a hole straight from Montana down to the other side of the earth. Yes, that's what we're talking about. I didn't understand it. And that's I, impossible. I don't think, 
I don't think in the Philippines you had the phrase, you'll dig a hole so deep you end up in China. Yeah, you probably no, end up in China. No, we don't. Next to China. we don't. Yeah. That's a real yeah. saying. Wait, wait, yeah, saying where, yeah, that's a real sign, saying. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't never heard that in my life. <laughs> yeah, 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 like a, you'll dig a hole so deep you'll end up in Sweden in the Philippines. Like, do you have any? I have never thought about this. Yeah, what's directly on the other side of the planet Earth from the Philippines? Well, let's look at a globe. Okay, go look at a globe. <laughs> no, I have to know. I have to know. But anyway, what I'm saying is that from Montana to fucking China, it's impossible. Okay, you're right. I thought we were digging tunnels. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. We are building, digging a tunnel. It's still a tunnel. That's yeah, the whole point. Yeah. No, I mean sideways, well, see, have not two, straight two, down. Two, but uh, that's still a tunnel, though. It's a tunnel. Yeah, it's that's a right tunnel. down. It's a tunnel. Oh, my God. I want to know what's on your brain, what you're thinking this whole time. <laughs> that was insane, what you were thinking. <laughs> I was thinking El Chapo. Well, stop saying El Chapo. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, uh, do, you, right. do you have a photo of the globe? I have to know. Oh, you <laughs> wait, no, I'm being, I'm being real. I'm being real, yeah. Just a regular globe? Yeah. Okay. I think I can figure it out just by looking at a map. Okay, let's see. All right. So globe images. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really didn't understand the task at hand here. Yeah. But you understand how if you yeah, go straight yeah. down? Yeah, okay. Make so that's the globe. <laughs> well, can you uh, zoom in on one? All right, zoom in on that. Let me open a different tab. Hold on. Okay, zoom in. All right, the Philippines is... So Bobby's pointing... All right. the way to the right. Right, right. Right here? Up north, up, up, north, up, north. Up, up, up there, north. yeah. That's the Philippines? Yeah. So you would end up... Somewhere in South America, right? No, probably... Mexico? Mexico. <laughs> in the ocean. In the ocean. So it'd be like... You, you, you'd end up in the ocean. Atlantic, uh, somewhere in the Atlantic so the Ocean. If you dig that, keep digging that hole in the Philippines, Kalila, you'll end up in the middle of the Atlantic the ocean. ocean. That's Actually, not a phrase. We border the Marianas Trench, and so which is like the deepest part of the world, right? Mm -hmm. But technically, there's a giant hole there. Okay. Anyway, let's, talk, let's stop, stop talking about holes. Give me another question. All right. Here, final one. We'll end on. Uh, Hold on on this. This is Hannah Lee Pete is asking, who is your current, for everyone, because I know what it changes, who is your current celebrity crush and why? Who you, are you guys obsessed with right Wait, now? Wait, I need a moment. I for, think I wrote this down on a list. El Chapo? <laughs> El Chapo. I've never heard anyone say El Chapo that much. Who is your current celebrity crush? And you know, I don't really, I, I, the, my honest thing is I don't have one. There's no celebrity where I look and I go, oh, I'd love to date her. No, it could be a guy. Like in terms of just no, well, no, no, no guy. Why are you so defensive? I'm not being defensive. No guy. No, 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 no. Because I, I already because we every week is some guy and, and then they do memes about me with Ben Affleck. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing no well, guy. The memes are because you said you'd want to fuck him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> then I already answered it. Oh, so Ben Affleck's still your celebrity crush. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Could, I, uh, a lot of people have Elon Musk, men and women, as their celebrity crush. Really? Yeah. Um. Well, I, yeah, I think I'm with Bobby. I I don't have one currently off the top of my head. Oh, 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 that's not true. Women's genetics. The Spagliato ladies. Who's that? Um, Prosecco with the freaking TikTok viral. I I would love to have. Yeah, maybe them. Um. Oh, no, I do have a celebrity crush, but maybe he's not a huge celebrity yet. Hmm. He's like this guy. He's like a pleasure dom. His name is Yinny. Mm. But he a seems he's like dom. really hot to me. I mean, you're just doing YouTubers now or what? <laughs> no. He's I mean, like I think when we, we, when we fucking say celebrity, we mean like a movie star or something, man. <laughs> yeah. There are people on TikTok. I, 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 I'll fuck that girl on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, That's but not you, what we're talking about. You ruined my celebrity crush for me. Edgar Ed Ramirez. Yeah, Edgar Ramirez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. off limits now because he's your friend. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't have a crush on him anymore, you know? Huh. Huh. Give me another question. I didn't like yeah, that Yeah, I one. didn't like that one. This one. Um, your favorite uh, underground hip-hop group and your favorite Mexican food. All in the same favorite question. Mex no, let's do Mexican food. Favorite, Me and really think of, if you can have one Mexican food served to you over and over again. Mm-hmm. Can't do a combo platter. Has to be a dish. Think about it. Taste it. Smell it. Let me see. Yesterday I had pozole and I had chile. Oh, I know what you're gonna relleno. say. Relleno. You're gonna say pozole. You love a soup. It's got to for be. the rest of your life, though. But yeah, it's yeah. got to. You have to think about this really. because you're not talking about contents within. Oh, I have one. Oh, I see. You're talking about preparation of like the stuff. Yeah, so okay. it's like if you're saying I would probably go taco because I can pick. Millions of to uh, 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 toppings. Mm -hmm. I do a breakfast taco. I can do like meat, whatever. So 
Also, with the taco, if you put melted cheese in it, it does turn into a quesadilla. Didilla, yeah. Right? So there's different, you know what I mean? The taco is something. Taco is much, very much an open burrito. Mm. Right? In many ways, if you take a flour tortilla and you don't wrap it all the way around, it's a fucking taco, taco. right? Yeah. So I say taco. I would say because I, I love stews and soups, probably like bedia forever. Bedia? Bedia. What the fuck is a bedia? Bro, you'd love it. Really? It's a, yeah, it's oh my, God. we should take him to a truck. It's basically a yeah. taco dipped in like beef consomme. But birria itself is just like stewed meat, right? Stewed meat, yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you another question though. Are you excited about Avatar? What, I, what, I don't know, I'm I, not up to I speed. I watched the trailer this morning. No, and I feel bad. Because I feel- Why? Like because they, I feel the same way, but why? They spent- why did I not feel excited? Yeah. I feel like uh, he was working on something, a sequel to something amazing, but technology and story has kind of caught up to that. Th- th- so it's kind of like that's yeah, exactly that's, what it, that's, everyone that's, does it on streaming now with that kind of like tech. Really? Yeah. It, when Avatar first came out, we had never seen anything like it. And 3D. 3D. We we're like, oh, this is a. And now, all the movies look like that. A lot of movies look like all that. all the Marvel movies look like look that. like that. And yeah, because you had, you had ten years of Marvel that came out, mm-hmm. right? And now when you look at it, it looks like like an average kind of fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. What What are they gonna do different? No, it's just a different story. It's yeah. They should have done that fucking movie two years or three years after the original mm-hmm. thing. What the fuck? But those actors have been working on that for like more than a decade. Wow, really? I don't know why you Why? It took that long with their tech, apparently. It took ten years to make that fucking movie? Oh my god. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine working on that job. Yeah, there's no way. You can't work on anything else. That's it. Yeah. Well, James Cameron. <laughs> Good job. Good job, man. <laughs> Good job, James. Any closing statements? I got to find medication. <laughs> I don't feel well. I'll help you. I'm not going to get another I'm not going to work on anything else for the rest of the year after this. Take a break. I'll help you find meds. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you for listening. I don't know if this is a good is a good one. I think it's a good one, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.